morning. Uh, an interesting start. My platform wouldn't let me go to a particular destination, so had a bit of trouble there. I will, however, continue onward as we do. Never any need for a panic. So I'll move across to the card. So wonderful to have you here for the daily Lenneman card spread reading as I've been doing for now three years. So it's wonderful to have you here in replay mode or in live stream mode. It's all good. So good morning, Kim, on her way to work. And we have the comments streaming in now. So Victoria saying good morning. We've got Sarah saying good morning. <laughs> Michaela, you've got me live. Good morning. How are you? And I'm going to switch over to the cards. I don't think I've got the pressing need for it, and I haven't lined up, of course, because I came off a, another webinar call. So here we go. It is duller this morning. We've got a very um, overcast, and it was pouring down with rain a second or two ago. So there you go, being autumn, moving into winter, of course, we're going to get that. So good morning, Shirley, and good morning, Kerry ann <laughs> I am feeling better this morning, so hoping to get a bit done. I will remember, though, that I still need to rest because it's like anything. If you don't give the body the opportunity to heal well, it's just going to drag on longer. So here we go with the cards that I've got. I'm not going to bother straightening them up because that was the Virgo in me. I'm trying to resist all that is habit. <laughs> and this is how they landed on the table. Oh, no, nah, I'll leave it like that. Just for something different gets me into some practice as well. And I haven't brought out the our card yet. So here we go. There's the our card for this morning. Today I choose joy and that's absolutely what I've done too. I choose joy each and every morning. I choose love. I choose to fly. I choose all sorts of things and a lot of it's because of the wisdom that comes from those little our cards. They're gorgeous. Okay, here we are. What we've got is the five card spread. It is in the form of the cross roughly. <laughs> so the magnifying glass is in the energies of the home space. We've got the moon today as that space for the business, the work, that type of energies that we've got there. We've got the fish as the unexpected energies. So that's a wonderful card to have there too. Hi, Daniel. I can see that you're in Costa Rica. So um, welcome aboard. Um, here we've got the heart in our role and I think what a perfect placing spacing for that one. As you know, I love to move my energies from that heart space of love. Here we've got in the center of the cross, it is the letter as that pivotal position, but it's uh, going by the spread meanings and stuff. If you're into the spreads infinitum, this is actually the outcome card and space. So that's what we've got as our layout today. And hello, Daniel. <coughs> Thank you for popping in. Well, for being here to watch this. It's growing to be a lovely little family and community in this group, in, well, in this space of Facebook. I am sending this out to my YouTube channel, my Facebook profile, my Facebook page, mytimetv.live, and also Women in Business Amplified private group with permissions, of course, for doing that. Um, now, here we go. Magnifying glass in our home space. I think as I'm looking <laughs> through and sort of breezing through, trying to ignore housework because I haven't been 100% well and I need to still rest, uh, I am here uh, at the moment as an individual, not with others in the same space. So any work that gets done, it's me. So with that, I, I'm not going to spend too much time looking at the closer detail of the housework, but there could be other areas that I'm needing to actually delve a little bit deeper into. Um, probably if I'm talking to one of my family or friends that there's something that I might need to be looking at more closely in how I explain myself or in how I'm listening and understanding someone else. Usually with a magnifying glass, though, it's to do with something we can physically see, you know, have it, having our eyes out there or eyes on it. 
So getting in a bit closer to see some of the detail does sometimes uh, show up things we hadn't thought of to, to see and we're needing to have that, that closer look. So if there's something like that, like for me today, it's ignore the dust laying around, too bad. It's not important. But if it's something that, oh, I missed that note that's really important that I need to get done, for instance, in my drawer, there's some things that do need doing, um, you know, in the now, you know, just a reminders uh, list or something like that. So um, have that closer look if you're feeling that urge in your home space today. Because remember, these are only guidances. There's there's nothing in these tools, in the tools of psychic, you know, guidance and all that sort of stuff that's in concrete. None of it is. So open your mind to it. Connect in with your spiritual essence. What is it showing you as we're going through these cards? So especially <laughs> Michaela, yeah, love that. And especially Karen. Thank, Carol, thank you for the good morning as well. The moon, uh, it's moving the energy about in its normal, so in its a, well, in a cycle, in a normal cycle. Look, because each day, if it, it is a new day with new energies, it's not going to be exactly the same cycle, but it's sort of following what is the plan. See this gizmo that's underneath the moon. I mean, if you tip that, if you have a look at it over from the top, I'm sure that's going to be the zodiac. Uh, you know, the symbol of astrology and that sort of thing, which what did we have yesterday? I'm pretty sure we had the, the stars here in this space. And right at the moment, I'm just going to, oh, my phone's gone flat, going flat. I'll just have a quick look at the photos that, the, that I took of yesterday. And it certainly is the star was in there yesterday. So here we are, you know, we're moving along on another form of the cycle. Instead of the stars and having the attraction, we're having a different light put on similar information. It's what we've got that's in the stars that's now going to shine, have that more reflective mode of light on it, gentler, more nurturing. So it's something that we are doing in our workspace that's needing that gentle push, that's needing that um, at the right stage phase look at and having the light revealing what is next for our workspace. So that's what we're needing to have uh, an awareness around for our workspace today. And the fish, with the abundance that fish brings in, it's either in what we're looking for in the finer detail in a home might show that abundance. It could be where you've forgotten that you've actually put your pennies, um, you know, saved up pennies, loose change and stuff and forgotten about you needing to access it. Go and have a look. Um, you might find that little treasure that's in there. I have a friend that does the coin collecting. So um, he'll go through my coins to see if there's anything special passing through in the form of the dates, mint condition, all that sort of information that we don't look at. You know, here we go. We've got to need a, a magnifying glass to look at the writing on them. I do, even with wearing glasses. So it's all of that that you, you can connect in together with how much abundance are you really wanting. You know, I see some of the marketing stuff that I see through my work place space that goes you know the question is do you want to earn seven figure income and all that sort of stuff and that is abundance but is it the right form of abundance you want or is it time that you want it's in whatever way you're feeling that the the fish are presenting to you in that one word abundance it doesn't always mean money it can mean time it can be quality interaction with another it's all different things to all of us as far as its meaning so you know tap into what the abundance is bringing into you whoops i've put carols up there haven't i carol hey hey ross hey dear how are you this morning as it's raining through here really bucketing down on the rest i do think of you occasionally on a dare to dream how how it sounds on the roof of that when it rains and gets a bit windy and the rest i love boats um Good morning, Nat. Lovely to have you here too as well. Getting the family together. It's almost like brekkie time for me, though I haven't had my breakfast. I do have my coffee, however, and I'm going to have another sip. Throat being still a bit tender. Now, as we're moving into this, that is, for me, it's one of those most important energies that I live by is 
from the heart is bringing in that that's the unconditional love learning relearning repro well, it's not programming but re resetting my own perspective and thinking to fear to really center in from that heart space it is a beautiful card in that double triple designing of a heart in this design i love it you know i live by the threes because i was born on a third day of a month uh, on a night third day in a nine month so it's three by three there's so much in the ways of threes in my numbers <laughs> and i just look at this and i think wow there's three i can see already and and it's really centering into what is the emphasis in your day what's your role today and it it just feels so heart-centered and for today for me it will be me first and nurture because uh, uh, my body itself the physical needs to repair refresh repair revitalize you know after a, a virus it's always going to be flat it's bringing all of those elements i know of to self-love to self-care to um you know being from that heart center so <laughs> Uh, oh, you're off the boat right now. Oh, you've got problems with your power now. Oh, look, it is a never. It, well, it, it's refining all those major bits that it's only going to be that minor little bit of maintenance coming up. You'll get to that point where that equilibrium and, and the fulcrum of the boat will actually be perfect and all you'll have is the minor maintenance and cleaning of the hulls and, you know, all that sort of stuff, the defouling. It's the regular stuff a boatie has to do. It's not the big big picture. You've gone past so much of it there, Adair, and it's so lovely to watch that pass. <laughs> Testing your resilience. Yes. Yes, boats will do that. I was told once many years ago it's a never-ending hole in the bucket. But... Um, it's not really. It's what are you gaining from that, you know, the refreshing. Consider it to be the well, but the well is a always full well. Anyway, here we go. <laughs> um, here we go. We've got the letter. Now that is communication. It is getting things, well, I suppose written down. It is more the written form and a little bit more formalised. Now that can also be in your own mind in how your perspective is through the day to day that you are instead of allowing chaos all the time because I go with the flow a lot it's why boating and that sort of thing would probably suit me to a T but um, I don't live on a boat I'm on land but I do live not far from a beach so you know it's all the different options and we have so many different options to and ways to communicate these days some of it does need to be formally organized um, agreements made and this is where the magnifying glass may be to do with a little bit more of a read the detail in what might be a formal agreement i know i needed to read through a deed through the detail of a binding financial agreement of divorce papers or not divorce papers but a fun you know agreements that ended up to do with business and things like that so it moves through to the business here's our very crooked sentence today but it's there um it could just be that you actually feel that urge to write a personal letter to someone and just seal it with something special that is particularly you particularly specifically genuinely from the heart yours and you know by the end of the day you can feel like you can write that type of letter to a special friend lay your head and feel at peace and you know have that love in the heart to sleep by you know it's so many different ways that we can interpret all of these um cards <laughs> so here we go i'm just going to go back to the comments now so have a final look at the cards and i'll go and um bring it back to me <laughs> aren't i important no <laughs> oh well yes but you know here we go just to do the summary so dear yes you are having your resilience tested but know that it does move through each stage does have a little bit of its completion tidying up and everything it's like life isn't it and Deirdre good morning you've been listening for a while interesting message for me when you're seeing the cards is when you is uh, what they mean for you yes and that's how each and every one of us does need to be interpreting 
they are look at it from your perspective see what it's saying to you have that open awareness and connection with your spiritual guidance as to what is this actually meaning for me i'm giving intuitive for me interpretations as well so you turn it you know turn that notice to what spirit's saying to you about your life situation so you're needing to do that official aren't you uh, change the name and do the cleansing ceremony so I'd say uh, probably as as soon as you've got the that main part done and bring in that new energy cleanse and bring in you you're laying on the top neck oh top deck looking at the stars very worth it oh wow yeah absolutely um it would be a beautiful space absolutely um potential tenant be viewing your property and say dale wonderful deirdre um thank you carrie ann and adair do you actually have the top deck finished with more than just that um you had a primer coat or something of that you know the sealer stuff it has it got a different color on it now that it's all done uh, i don't think i've kept i don't think i've seen any photos of that I haven't been on Facebook all the time, peoples. So I have been laying down. So thank you, Sarah. Okay. So I am going to go and rest again. I need some brekkie. So I will do that and I'm going to rest up again a little bit. Um, one of the things I've noticed as this has progressed as far as a virus goes, um, still feels more like a cold, but it is progressing up. So at the moment, the stage I think I'm experiencing is brain fog and vertigo. <laughs> so I can't stand and I can't stand it. No, it's not that. I can't stand to do much at a time at this point. So I know that's the body letting me know that it certainly is still needing the rest. Plenty of water, lemon juice, ginger and herbal teas. So even though I start with a coffee. <laughs> so... <clears throat> oh excuse me and yeah sometimes still the phlegmy throat you've got the membrane on and still need to do the non-slip ah yep that's what i was asking about yes that non-slip so the membrane's a sealer and then you have the non-slip paint on top right um some of the stages i've never done because i don't have a house boat but i have had experience in boating over time <clears throat> regular stuff like a a fishing boat <laughs> okay and hello from that facebook user so you must be in the groups um thank you so much for being here i'm going to leave it at that it's now 18 minutes after having that initial little bit of hassle with signing in but hey that's what life's about flexibility and challenges and growing and love be from that heart space today Bring your focus back to that occasionally. Let spirit remind you that we are heart-based people. We are spirit in a body experiencing this life. So do it to the best that you can. And <laughs> I love that. Doesn't look like Shrek sneezed on it now. A lovely aqua, but we'll end up a light grey. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, I like the aqua. That's a beautiful colour. <laughs> Um, you tried to watch me on Joy Ruffin last night but couldn't find it. Look, um, it was one of those things with the brain fog. For some reason, uh, I, I didn't turn up. I felt so, so, so bad to be a guest and not turn up. I had the wrong time in my calendar. Uh, I hadn't double-checked it. I hadn't checked the messages. She had sent me messenger, where am I, where am I? And I was doing something else thinking in full confidence I was later on in the day I look at sometimes that sort of goof happens it's even worse with the brain fog I can tell you and I feel so 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 bad about that um but we will be doing another session at some point where I can complete that three series <laughs> oh dear there you go oh thank you so the message that you got was about the lease agreement yeah and so we do get these messages trust them when spirit shows you signs and symbols and messages that you feel, oh, who was telling me that? Because I have heard things sometimes. And you sort of look around as if there's somebody there and they're not. Trust that it's your spiritual connection, your guidance actually speaking with you or your inner self speaking with you because we are part of that whole <laughs> roundabout energy connection. Uh, when you get into quantum physics, absolutely superb <laughs> confusion there. 
but wonderful to actually tap into. It's good fun. Um, don't feel bad. Put yourself first. Listen to the body. Oh, there's definitely, definitely listening to our bodies and what we do, each and every one of us. Even when we are in full health, we do need to have that awareness and connection with the physical body as well. Know what our body does and how it reacts to certain things and pushing ourselves too far and all sorts. You know, life is really exciting in discovering that that is us, our uniqueness, and moving that from being that best that we can be and out and into the world in community, into, into humanity, really, and having a ball, um, going with the flow, whichever way it suits you. And uh, interconnecting with others is what we're here for. So thank you for being part of this wonderful daily family. I'm going to go now. <laughs> I will go now. So thank you. And keep being the best you, definitely. Namaste until tomorrow morning. Bye for now. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>